we saw the results for the first time, we were sure it was a mistake. This is a fantastic demonstration for energy savings. There is no doubt that today it is easier to convince our customers to use ARI products. In all liquid transmission lines, air pockets accumulate on the downslopes. They are created naturally by the tendency of air to go up against the flow of the water. These air pockets will narrow the diameter of the pipe and require the pumps to work harder to move the same amount of water. In fact, they increase the facility's energy consumption. Automatic air valves installed along the line are used to release the air from the water and in actuality, they reduce energy consumption. ARI took upon itself the challenge to develop a demonstration model that registers and displays the differences between energy consumption on a line where the automatic air valves are clogged or non-existent and on a line where the air valves are installed using special orifices developed by ARI. The demonstration model is essentially a closed system where water from a storage tank is pumped through a system of pipes back into the tank. The main idea of the system is to produce a fixed flow. This is done using a variable pump that can change the number of cycles per minute. The flow meter is connected to a computerized controller that increases or decreases the number of cycles per minute of the pump, thereby controlling the flow at a fixed rate during the entire demonstration. Readout of flow, energy, and pump cycle are available to view in real time on the monitoring screen connected to the system. In the first phase of the test, water flows into the pipes with the air valves closed. You can clearly see the air pockets created in the pipes. The W shape of the pipes was built to simulate field conditions where water lines are laid on sloping terrain. Currently, the data on the control screen indicates that to generate a flow of 17.1 liters per minute, the pump motor must run at around 550 RPM, which consumes energy at the rate of 9.2 watts per hour. Next, we open the ARI air valves, which release the trapped air in the system. Notice how the pipes now fill completely with water. At this stage, the data is transmitted to the controller. The controller then changes the current supplied to the motor in order to maintain the flow rate of 17.1 liters per minute. After the flow stabilizes, the control screen shows that now in order to produce the same flow rate of 17.1 liters per minute, the pump motor will run at 480 RPM, which consumes energy at the rate of 7.4 watts per hour. Notice the difference between the two energy consumption data results about a 20% saving. It's amazing. It's 20% energy saving. And if you think about it in the scale of national water distribution, then we are talking millions here. We knew for years from our customers worldwide that there was a change in energy consumption after installing the ARI air valves, but we did not imagine that the difference was so significant. In today's world, where energy conservation is a global mission, and where millions of cubic meters of water are transmitted daily, a reliable automatic air valve can turn into a powerful tool, allowing for savings in energy and money, thus ensuring a greener world.